Hello, this is Tolo from Trifle Productions with another Blender quick tip. And today I'm going to show you how to use a mesh as a light source without having to deal with a lot of noise in your scene. Um, that's pretty much taking a mesh, a uh, circle, sphere, uh, or a square, <coughs> excuse me, and using it as a light source or an emission in your scene. In cycles, when you do that, that can lead to a lot of noise. But what I found is if you um, pretty much almost like you conceal the mesh inside of a, I guess, a, another material that is not an emission, it controls the amount of noise that actually is produced by that, uh, by that mesh, by that object. And uh, <clears throat> I'm working on the scene here for a client, and I've got these light sources here. These are lights that I've uh, made. They're just spheres that have been flattened. And they're like uh, lights that are embedded inside of a uh, cabinet. And um, the material that I've used for these these little circles here, these uh, light sources, would be uh, interior light uh, emission, which is a light source, and a metal. Now if I click on uh, the view viewport shading uh, tab here click on render if you look at it you can see that these are emitting light into the, the scene there I'm going to show you the the uh, JPEG of that or the uh, rendered image of this particular uh, scene that, you, that we can get an idea of how this works so these have been rendered already uh, let me pull those up, click down here. Now these have been rendered with uh, the emissions encased in a material that is not an emission. As you can see there's not much noise in this scene. And you can put up as many lights as you want using this method to light up your scene a lot more. And I'm going to go back to the solid view in the viewport and I'm going to click this load area to turn this to this own independent object here and I'm going to uh, turn that outer material from a metal material or a non-emission material to an emission material so let me go up here and click on interior light which is an emission and let's go back to the render viewport again and take a look at that and as you can see there's a lot more noise in it because these this material isn't shielded or encased in a um, in a uh, non-emission uh, type material and I'll click on the JPEG for this too so you can get an idea of how this looks uh, and here it is and here's a lot of noise in the scene a lot of noise uh, in the viewport here up on top of the cabinet against the wall and also uh, on this back part here and once again this is the um, the emission emission shaders or emission uh, objects that have been encased in a material that is not emitting any light uh, so that would be how you would control the noise in your scene and another thing you can also do to reduce the noise in your scene is when you use an emission uh, shader on a material uh, you can just go to uh, your uh, your render tab and go down to sampling and set that to 6 set your your, your seed or your or your sampling your clamp to 6 and once you do that it actually <coughs> darkens the areas around the lights also to make to reduce the, the amount of noise so in conclusion when you're using an uh, object as an emission or as a light source in your scene the best thing to do to reduce the amount of noise in that scene is to uh, basically encase that emission in a, in a non emitting mesh or a non emitting material I mean which would be you know a flat surface a flat kind of material to control the noise 
And uh, that's my quick tip for today. Sorry for all the noise in the background. There's a thunderstorm out here. That's a flash thunderstorm. So, yeah. But, uh, yeah, um, that's pretty much it. And hope you guys learned something from this and hope it helped someone. And, uh, yeah, see you guys on the next one. Have a great day. All right, bye.